I Wim Hofed for 30 days, and in this video, I'm going to share that journey with you as I practice the Wim Hof method. Make sure you stay to the end because I'm going to share with you what happened to me after having cold showers every single day and practicing this bizarre breathing technique. Look, the reason I did this was I'd heard all of this hype about Wim Hof and people saying that they had conquered their depression, their anxiety, people saying that their immune systems were stronger, feeling they had more energy, more focused, and felt more optimistic about life. So let's see what happened to me after having practiced this for 30 days and see what impact it had on my mind and my body. But let's start off by looking at who is Wim Hof? So Wim's mission is to revolutionize modern medicine. And he basically believes that exposing ourselves to the cold is vital for our health and well-being. The guy's got 26 Guinness World Records that are all related to exposing himself to extreme cold. He's run the fastest marathon barefoot. He's climbed Kilimanjaro in record time. He's swum under the ice for the longest time. He has created the Wim Hof Method, and he has got thousands, hundreds of thousands of people all over the world that are practicing the Wim Hof Method. So it's day one of the Wim Hof uh, challenge. Let's see what happens after 30 days. Um, I've got the Wim Hof app. So what I'm gonna do is do this breathing. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but basically all you're doing is you're breathing in and out, using the mouth without pausing. And then after you've done that 30 times, you hold your breath for as long as you can. And that would be one round. I'm gonna do five rounds of that. So it'll be very interesting to see how long I can actually hold my breath for. Let's go for it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breath hold from now. Let the body do what the body is capable of doing. Move your body bit by bit, starting with your fingers and your toes. So that was five rounds, and you know what time it is now? Yeah, it's time for a cold shower, and I've not been looking forwards to this. Let's go. Cold shower. This is it. Check out the swimming costume. <laughs> not that we're going swimming. Cold shower. We even have this shower built specifically so we could do this. Now, Wim Hof suggests that you only do like 15 seconds for the first week. Definitely not looking forward to this. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. sure that's gonna get any easier <laughs> oh my god I've gone a bit dizzy okay so it's uh, day five definitely getting better at doing this I definitely feel uh, more alert and uh, one thing is definitely for sure is I can hold my breath much longer I've held it up to about a minute and ten seconds now so it's time to go uh, it's time to go again Breathe. That was hard. So I could only hold it for a, around about a minute each time today, but that's five rounds. And guess what? It's time for another cold shower. Let's go. I'm going for 30 seconds now. A nice morning though, so you ready? Three, two, one. I'm getting a little bit more used to it, but it's not the sort of thing that most people would think about doing. So it's actually day 10. I don't know whether you, you can see any difference, but I'm definitely more alert. I definitely feel like I've got more energy and I seem to be able to hold my breath longer. So let's go. Day 10, Wim Hof.
take a deep breath in and hold. I'm consistently holding my breath now for around 1 minute 30. I've been up to 1.40, uh, but you know what time it is now. Uh, and it's pretty cold out there. It's time for a cold shower. Let's go. We're going for a minute this time. <gasps> So I, I've been, the last few days I've been practicing Wim Hof outside. This is one of the things that he really recommends doing it in nature. So it's day 20. I'm definitely noticing uh, the benefits. I'm able to hold my breath uh, much longer. Uh, and yeah, I feel great. Uh, let's go. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. So I'm getting close to holding my breath for two minutes. I feel great. It's time for a cold shower. There's actually a hose pipe ban coming. So this is probably the last time I think I'm gonna be able uh, to do this. But I'm now up to, I'm close to two minutes in cold water. You ready for this? Three, two, one. <gasps> I'm actually quite enjoying it now. It's quite weird. It's quite like, it's so refreshing afterwards, but it's definitely taken a bit of getting used to. Will I carry on after 30 days? So this is the 30th day and uh, it's definitely been a real game changer. And I would recommend this to, uh, to people for sure. I think there's something magical in doing this breath work and I'm extremely grateful to Wim Hof. You ready for this? Let's see how long uh, I can hold my breath for this time. Let's begin. Two minutes, unbelievable. Time for another cold shower, day 30, let's go. The thing is this shower's actually colder than outside. So I'm now up to about three minutes of cold showers. And you know what? I'm actually really, really enjoying it. I can't believe I'm actually saying that. So it was a pretty epic adventure and I'm sure you'd like to know what exactly did I achieve after 30 days of having practiced the Wim Hof method? Well, I have to say that I have been extremely surprised and there is no question that I am more alert. I definitely feel better. I've got more energy. I seem to be able to exercise uh, for longer. And what I've done is I've done a deeper dive into Wim Hof. And the reality is that what he has done has captured the imagination, the attention of some scientists who are doing a deeper dive into what he's doing. Look, in my work, I'm really fascinated in helping people close the gaps between where they are and where they want to be. There's no question that I have really enjoyed and I, I will continue to practice uh, his methods. In fact, I would really love to meet him and that's one of my goals because when I really understood a little bit more about his story, it really had a massive impact on me. Wim Hof has four children that are all grown up uh, now, but uh, his wife actually committed suicide. And this woman was definitely the love of his life. And he went into a real black hole and he just had to survive. And it was his children that motivated him to, to keep going through a very difficult time. But what I love about him is he invented his method of exposing himself to the cold and, and uh, this breathing technique, and it really, really helped him. He really used nature as a way of healing himself, and it's amazing what he has created on the back of something very, very difficult. And I know there are people all over the world who he has genuinely helped because he went first. And in many of the videos that we make, we talk about future self, becoming the change that you want to see in the world. And one of the greatest qualities of any human being is when something difficult happens, that you find a way to use that difficulty to inspire others. He went first. But what I didn't say is that when I started to practice the Wim Hof method at the beginning, I too was going through an extremely difficult time. In fact, I would say it was probably the most challenging time 
of my life because my wife had been diagnosed for the second time with a very aggressive brain tumor and I wasn't able to sleep. I was extremely worried. But I also believe that there are answers out there. I believe that there are solutions to many of the problems that people have. And one of the things that we know will, with illness, whether it be heart disease, cancer, diabetes, there's an inflammatory aspect to all of these things. Where there's inflammation, there tends to be disease. And we know right now, even the statistics in America are really quite shocking. 97.3% of Americans are unhealthy by four basic measures. Most people in the world today are sick and they're creating futures that they don't actually want. And when my wife was really sick, I, I saw her dying in front of me. Now we actually found uh, a treatment for her and we've been going uh, to Germany and it's unbelievable. The turnaround in my wife's health is just absolutely incredible. But I used Wim Hof as a way of working on myself because I realized that I had to be strong. I realized that if I was weak, I would not be able to look after my wife in the way that I needed to. So I'm extremely grateful uh, to Wim Hof for giving me something to focus on, to focus on my breath, there's no question that the exposure to the cold makes a massive difference. And people have known about this for a very, very long time. That's what saunas are all about. The fact that you get really hot and then you go into something cold to wake up your body. We have the power to do so much with the natural resources that we have been given. And I think one other thing I want to say about Wim Hof is that he represents the opportunity we all have to get healthier. I think a lot of us, we, we don't really value our health until something really bad happens. But I also think what happens is that a lot of people, when they get to a certain age, they actually think, well, there's not much they can do about their health. And he represents to me someone who's decided to get healthier, decided to become better than he currently is. And I think that's something that we can all do. So if you haven't checked out the Wim Hof Method, I would really encourage you uh, to do so. But look, if you've never exposed yourself to cold water or you've, you've never done this type of breathing technique, please go slow, go easy. But it really does uh, make a difference. So what I want you to do right now is to watch the video that we made called What is the Greatest Investment You Will Ever Make? Because there is no question that there is a part of you that wants to get better. And of course, the greatest investment you are ever going to make is into your mind and your body. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some tactics and strategies how to get really focused and disciplined to make that investment. What we call identity capital. That once you start to identify with a fitter, healthier you, you'll find it much easier to do what you need to do regardless of how you feel. So go and watch that video right now. But I want to thank Wim Hof from the bottom of my heart for the massive impact that you have had on my life.